to JPX Energy Market Weekly Updates. On February the 24th, Russia unexpectedly launched a large-scale invasion of Ukraine, making a major escalation of the Russian-Ukraine crisis that has been ongoing since last year. And this slide shows the timeline of the Russian-Ukraine crisis since 1991. The current Russian-Ukraine crisis centers on the status of Crimea and parts of Donbas, which are internationally recognized as part of Ukraine. So far, according to media reports, one of the two Ukrainian refineries was shut down due to military risk. An oil depot near the Ukrainian capital of Kiev was set on fire after a missile strike. It's also reported that another explosion hit a natural gas pipeline in Kharkiv, Ukraine's second largest city. But both Ukraine's gas pipeline operator and Russian energy giant Gazprom said the transit of Russian gas by Ukraine was unaffected. Asian refineries regularly purchase Black Sea crude oil. Said the shipments of Russian euros in the Hasakson CPC plant for delivery in March and April had not been affected by the miniature operation, but the companies are keeping a close watch on the logistical risks in the Black Sea routes. Crude prices continue to drop last Friday as traders anticipate the wall in Ukraine probably won't lead to any physical disruption of Russian crude to Europe. Although the first line price falls, the first line and third line of benchmark JPX Dubai and IC Brent time spreads firm in a bullish backwardation structure, indicating a tightened market. As was reported by Reuters on Sunday, Ukrainian and Russian officials would meet for talks at a venue on the Belarusian border, and the two parties agreed to talks without preconditions. However, it's also reported that Putin has ordered Russia's deterrent forces. Uh, Reference to units which include nuclear arms onto high alert. This unexpected course of events aroused considerable alarm again. So the market focus of this week will probably on the talk between the two parties, and volatility will probably remain at a high level. Also at the weekends, the United States, Canada, and European allies announced a new slate of sanctions on Russia for its invasion of Ukraine that will bar Russia's bank from the international payment system SWIFT and tie the hands of its central bank. The move marks a significant tightening of Western sanctions as the United States and European Union initially left Russia's removal from SWIFT out of major sanction packages, given the potential for a global economic blowback. The United States and Europe are hoping to keep Russian oil and gas flowing, but drive down Russia's revenues. But any sanctions by the United States or the European Union to cut Russia off from SWIFT could raise questions for oil and gas markets regarding the ability of top Russian energy producers like Gazprom to send and receive payments. The UK Foreign Secretary has floated the idea that G7 countries could impose limits on the amount of oil and gas they can import from Russia as part of the widening raft of economic sanctions on Russia. Although the details have not yet been released, it will likely make many buyers more hesitant to purchase Russian oil. As you can see from this slide, euros, which is major crude oil grade sent to Europe from Russia, were already at record discounts to North Sea grades Brent in prior days. On a longer view, a number of greenfield projects in Russia have been under development in the past few years that have provided a boost to Russia's oil production in the short term when the projects come online and reach their peak production levels. But lack of new investment from international oil company and declining output from Russia's more mature fields may offset production growth coming from greenfield development, which may result in Russia's oil production declining by the end of 2020's decade. European gas prices are following crude oil upwards, on concerns over supply security as well. The most notable energy-related section so far has been on the vital Nord Stream 2 gas pipeline, that was expected to start in October, carrying Russian gas to Germany. Tight market are expected for at least another year through 2022, and could be longer if Gazprom spot price gas sales do not resume. As we have talked previously, high gas prices may have downside pressure on refinery margins because of direct costs from making hydrogen and indirect costs from the emission allowances. The hydrogen costs for medium soil grades crude, based on spot natural prices, are much higher than those sweet grades, even when taking into account the byproduct hydrogen available from the reformer unit. This means that light sweet grade Brent crude. May contain more quality premium over JPEX Dubai if the gas prices stay high. Okay, that's all for this week. For more information, please stay tuned to the JPX Energy Market Weekly Updates.